So as I walk down this area, I need to just be real honest. Today is probably the last time I can come out here and fish. And I brought two rods. I, of course, got the jackhammer, castaway, tyrannish rod. And then I got an old trusty castaway rod, Invicta 2, with the lure that's caught me almost as many fish as any. And the reason why I bought, brought this one instead of the bully blade was because uh, I felt like I needed a little bit smaller profile. So today is, could be my last time fishing out here. Uh, and I wanna make sure I thank Craig and Aaron. They introduced me to a man named Dale who lives right over here. And I'm hoping Dale doesn't mind me parking in his yard. And if so, that'll give me the opportunity to fish here some more. But when I look back at what I've done here in the seven, eight, nine, ten months, the one thing that's amazing about this, this whole friendship with Craig and Aaron and their kids is this has, and I apologize, my throat's a little sore from screaming uh, this weekend at swimming. This body of water has changed my fishing more than anything ever. I fish drastically different because of what I've learned here. So... I'm a better angler because of this pond. You know, I like to, to go red fishing and uh, trout fishing and snook fishing, and I, I would consider myself more of a salty person than a freshwater person, but this pond has made me learn the intricacies of, look at all those, that bait, all that fry, the intricacies of bass fishing that I didn't know until I started fishing out here. Oh. I don't know if that was a weed or I got bit and didn't even realize it. I think it had to be a weed. It didn't really pull back. So I believe I'm a better fisherman because of this pond. found with this ultimate joy in swim bait from I don't even know the name of the company off the top of my head it's all about the cadence of the, how it swims in the water it swims too like that one right there boy oh boy I saw that one come out of the wall out of the grass and hit that god I hope you can get that
right. I can do with that. This is, oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was my best fish of the day. Oh my God. Well, that's it. This could be the last time I say goodbye. Say hello to this beautiful pond. This pond has taught me more in the last nine or 10 months than I could ever imagine. So again, I thank my friends Aaron and Craig for allowing me to come over here to Lake EA, which I named because it's for Ethan and Annika, their two kids. And hopefully I can get back here. Guys, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you comment, hit the like button and subscribe. We do appreciate it. If you want one of the prize packs, info at fishinfloridaradio.com or go to our Facebook page facebook.com slash fish in florida guys take your kid fishing get your fish on we will see you soon cheers